we can speak about risk factors for many diseases or illnesses. Can we speak about a risk factor or risk factors for mood disorders and anxiety? Yes, we can. And, and, and genetics is one of the important <coughs> risk factors. Uh, having a, a close relative, say, with bipolar disorder is an important risk factor because it increases uh, your own risk uh, about five or tenfold. Uh, other important risk factors, particularly for depression, include other medical illnesses such as heart disease, uh, strokes, or other uh, neurological disorders, and uh, problems with alcohol or drug abuse can certainly be important risk factors uh, for depression and bipolar disorder. So when we think of these illnesses, we think of them coming out of uh, a conjunction, really, of several factors. Genetic or inherited factors are an important part of the picture, but other factors are important as well. And what part of the medical team makes the diagnosis or helps people with mood disorders and anxiety? So uh, most people with uh, problems that psychiatrists would consider needing treatment don't ever actually see a psychiatrist, but actually uh, seek care from their family doctor or internist. So it's very important that uh, more general practitioners be aware of the signs and symptoms of depression and be able to recognize them. Now, uh, specialists who treat mental illnesses include uh, psychiatrists who are medical doctors uh, trained in, in medicine but with a focus on uh, mental illnesses like depression and anxiety. And psychologists who typically don't have a medical degree but are trained in uh, methods of diagnosing and treating uh, mental problems such as depression.